Hey, good morning to you. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord. The word works. Started talking to you yesterday, yesterday about you have the gift of faith. Now, I turned the camera a little bit because I'm sitting out here on the front porch of the swing. And so, you know, see, you see the, the chains that's holding me up. We're not talking about natural faith. You see, I had natural faith to come out here and sit on the swing. I <clears throat> believe that these uh, chains are big enough, strong enough to hold me up. In fact, I've done it, I guess, over a thousand times. So that's natural faith that I trust this swing not to fall. But we're not talking about that. When it says in Romans 12, 3, that God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Well, natural men have that kind of faith. But we're talking about something super. Man, I want to say it. Super! We're talking about supernatural faith. And that's what God gave you. It's a gift that God hath given you, dealt to you, the measure of faith. And if it was enough to get you born again, I told you that yesterday, it's enough to get money to come in to pay your bills. It's enough to get divine life, divine healing to come into your body. Um, now don't go crazy on me on this, but I'm telling you, I'd rather trust in God's healing ability than to trust in all that doctors and nurses and hospitals can do. They're doing the best they can, but I want you to know I'm not dependent on that because I've got a supernatural uh, power that's working within me. And I can go to the word and say, Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases and with his stripes, I'm healed. And he sent his word and healed me. And I can apply that to my body and come up with divine health and divine healing by the gift of faith. I don't have to go to a healing meeting. I'm having a healing meeting. <laughs> I don't have to wait till some healing evangelist comes to the church or some big healing person comes to town and go to the meeting. I can receive my healing at 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, I get up about 4, 4.30 every day. Some days I get up and I don't feel real sharp. I mean, some days I just, I just think I'll lay around in the bed for a while here. But no, I appropriate what God has already done by the gift of faith. And I say to my body, age doesn't have nothing to do with it. The way you feel hadn't got anything to do with it. God's promises is the only thing that has to do with it. And I use my faith and I say, body, you straighten up and you be well and you receive right now in Jesus' name. And I change the way I feel by the word of God. You have the gift of faith. God gave it to you and he didn't give it to you just so you could miss hell and go to heaven. Uh, if there was no heaven to gain nor hell to shun, I'd live this way anyway because it works. It, you can change your children. You can change teenagers. You can change your marriage. You can change everything because there is nothing that is impossible to him that believes and you are a him or her that believes. And so you can change it. The world's negative. You know, ask somebody how to go there. They'll say, go down to the third red light and turn right. Hey, it's green as much as it is red. Why don't they say go to the green light and turn right? The reason is, is the world is negative, but you and I are redeemed from the negativity of the world and placed over into I can change all things in the name of Jesus. I have the gift of faith. It's God's faith. It's mountain-moving faith. Nothing is impossible to us who believe, hey, have a great day. Use your faith. Don't let it be dormant. Use it in the name of Jesus. And until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.